finish there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to approach training or your muscle or strength building workouts during a cut. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, let's talk about cutting. First off, let's set the table. There are two types of cuts. There is the short mini cut for somebody trying to knock off 10 to 20 pounds. Maybe you just finished bulking, maybe summer is coming up, you have a short-term cut and you want to get it over with. On the other hand, you have a long-term cut. And somebody in a long-term cut is going to approach things a little bit differently from what I'm about to talk about. If you are morbidly obese or you have more than 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds to lose, you should be going into the gym and training just like everybody else. The advice I'm about to give is for guys that are doing these little short mini cuts. Maybe you're bulking for three or four months. You're going to do a mini cut, knock off 10 pounds, 15 pounds, and get back to the muscle building process. So that's specifically what I'm talking about in this video. Now, first off, during a mini cut, it's not the time to change workouts. It's not the time to f fuck around with things and explore new protocols, explore new exercises. You basically want to keep the program you were just on and just kind of keep things a status quo. It's not the time to be tinkering or messing around or trying new variables, etc. because you're cutting you're not going to feel 100%. You're going to have less muscle glycogen. You're going to have less energy. Uh, you might not even be sleeping as well. So during a cut, it's not the time to try new programs. After the cut starts, that's when you introduce new programs, new variables, etc. Now, how do you take your existing program when you're on a cut? How do you handle it? Well, here's how I generally tell people uh, how to handle their existing workout. Let's say, say you just went four months on a program, you had really good results, you liked the program, you're cruising along, you've been bulking for four months and you're really happy, you're gonna do a mini cut and you're gonna knock off 10 pounds. So during that time, I don't want you changing the program. I want you to continue to do what you're doing, but here's the catch. Don't over push for PRs. Here's what I mean. I don't want you going crazy. I want, I want this mini cut session to be kind of a, a period where you desensitize the body from intense training. Uh, no, no uh, rest pause work, no super setting, no super intensity techniques. Let's kind of just cool things down a little bit and focus on the cut. Don't aggressively go for PRs, and this might confuse some of you, but don't aggressively go for progress during the cut. Does that mean you shouldn't uh, make any progress during the cut or, or not push for any progressive overload? No. What I mean is this. Let's say you're on rep 10 of bicep curls. Let's say you're doing an easy barbell curl. You're on rep 10 and you know, hey, I can steal rep 11. That's going to be super easy. Take it. Take that, take that easy progression. The progression you know is there. If you're on rep 10 of easy bar curls and it was just difficult and you know hey maybe i could get rep 11 there's there's a coin flip i'm going to grind it out don't grind out those reps not on a mini cut not on a short run cut leave that effort leave that intensity for when you're bulking you're going to get more out of the whole progression you know thing when you're you're bulking so the uh, just to repeat if you can steal an easy rep steal it if you are at that point where things are really difficult in a set and you're not sure about the next rep, just step back. Now, one final thing about cutting. When it comes to cutting, you don't want to over obsess about strength. First off, you're not going to lose muscle during a, a, a mini cut. So just relax. You might feel flatter. You might have less muscle uh, glycogen in your muscles. You might feel like horse crap. But the idea 
that you're going to lose a lot of muscle during a cut is nonsense. If you are taking your cut down to 5%, there might be some risk for losing muscle. But for the rest of us, as long as we continue training, maintaining is really easy, especially in the short term. So don't panic. You're not going to lose any muscle during your cut. You don't, you, you know, following my advice. Now, strength. You might feel flatter. Your presses might go down a few reps. Don't panic. The thing you need to understand is that strength will come right back. It'll come right back. When you lose a little bit of strength during a cut, it's not permanent. It'll come right back. So don't worry about those things. In the long run, if you continue to charge and continue to do things wisely, you're not going to get weaker in the long run. You're going to get stronger and bigger in the long run. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.